Well, Singapore getting a boost in efforts to supercharge its AI drive. A partnership is reducing the cost of working with quantum computers with the first locally created device that allows users to control such machines. A joint developed by the Nanyang Technological University and the, Nan the National University of Singapore, it was built at half the cost. Charlotte Lim tells us more. This is a quantum computer. Not only does it look different from a conventional one, its powers are also more superior. Quantum computers can solve in minutes problems which take supercomputers 10,000 years. And the applications for this are endless. Quantum computing will allow exact simulations of process. For example, drug discovery, we'll be able to simulate process, like molecules before we even put them in the human body. We can also optimize um, energy production and distribution. So like when you have the energy going from the powerhouse to the home, it's actually a very complex system and you want to optimize that network. So what gives quantum computers an edge? Well, traditional ones that you and I use work on what's called bits to store information as either ones or zeros. Quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits, which store information as both one and zero, representing multiple possibilities simultaneously. Well, what you see behind me are the main components of a quantum computer. Stored in this cylinder are the processing units, while the blank box on top is the controller, which essentially acts as a bridge between conventional computer and a quantum computer. The hardware inside sends microwaves to the quantum computer and reads the qubit states, a process that takes less than 14 nanoseconds. Developing these controllers in-house makes it at least 50% cheaper than buying them overseas, which can cost around a million dollars. This actually will enable, um, let's say, smaller players, smaller companies, um, to actually also start to develop um, or let's start in, uh, into the direction of uh, using quantum computers because it becomes more affordable now for them. And along with the nation's $700 million investment in quantum research, this could help Singapore make its mark amid the global race to develop commercially viable quantum computers.